Hey everybody, you're watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and I'm your man Mike Wolford and today we are making chicken legs. Now these are inspired by my buddy Rick over at Rick's Barbecue and Specialties. I'm going to put his link down below, you got to check him out. Guy lives in Mexico, he's got a food truck which is super cool and man he is turning out some awesome food. He did these the other day on his channel and I loved it. So I made it last night, so awesome. But before we do that, got another sticker to go on the fridge of fame and this one is from my buddy Patty Joe over at Patty Joe's cooking Patty Joe is an Australian boy out of out of uh, Melbourne and he's cooking up some really cool stuff guys and here's a little bit of a side note Patty Joe and I may be very distant cousins we've done some genealogy and we're starting to see some similarities kind of cool guys all right let's get Patty Joe up on the fridge of fame all right, guys, it's time. Patty Joe's going right up here in between Ryan G's barbecue and stuff, and my buddy Charlie over at Pickles Barbecue. What do you think, guys? Looks awesome. I want to put a link up here, somewhere in here, for Pat, for Patrick over at Patty Joe's cooking. You guys got to check his channel out. It's flipping awesome. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to light the Weber kettle and bring it up to about 400 degrees and then we're going to cook the chicken on indirect heat. We'll show you how. And I want to give it a good amount of charcoal. And then I'm going to take these tumbleweeds and just light one. Put it underneath, show you how. There you are, one tumbleweed. Light it. There we go. Put it down there. And what that's gonna do is heat up the charcoal, and then when the charcoal comes up to the right consistency or temp or whatever you wanna call it, then we're gonna put it into one of these side pans for the indirect heat. So we lit the charcoal, it's been in the chimney or stove for a little over 20 minutes. As you can see, we're getting that fire in there. That is perfect. Now it's time to dump it into one of these side racks. So we're gonna dump it into one of these side containers. And the whole idea here is we wanna go with non-direct heat, right? So let's put this back over. And the idea behind direct heat, direct heat versus non-direct heat is if I were to put my chicken or whatever over this, it's gonna cook it super fast. And that's okay, but in this case, I don't want it. So I'm gonna put the chicken over on here. But before we, but before we do that, I am gonna put the container, the lid back on, and I wanna see this get up to about 400 degrees. It's time for our chicken. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake dig this stuff like I said not an ambassador I just believe in his products he's got a, a shake for everything so really we're just gonna coat the chicken with some shake and then throw it on the Weber Uncle Steve's gator shake pretty simple guys we're just gonna give them a nice coat just like that I'm gonna flip each piece of chicken don't worry guys I will wash my hands And those are perfect for going on the Weber. Let's put them on. So this is what I'm talking about indirect heat. See, if I were to put it over here, this things would cook super fast. And I don't want that because indirect heat tends to, uh, what's the best word, way to do it? It cooks it slower, right? And it allows everything, the fibers and that to break down inside of the, the meat. Make sure you click this three times too, that's tradition. So as you see, we've got these on indirect heat. We're gonna give them about 20 minutes and then we're gonna check them out, flip them, and do it for another 20. All right guys, you know what time it is. It's your Zoe moment. Hey Zoe, what are you doing? Huh, you waiting for some chicken? Sorry, you're not gonna get any this time, friend. All right everybody, there's your Zoe moment. It's been 20 minutes, time to check these things out. 
As you see, we're still on the direct, indirect, sorry. But look at the bottom of that. That is looking good. So we're gonna just flip it. That looks really good. Gonna flip it, same with that one. Same with the big meaty mic there, check it out. All right guys, we're gonna give it another 20 minutes on indirect heat at about 400 degrees, and we'll be right back. To go along with this meal, we're going to do asparagus. Now last night I did corn, which is awesome, but I do love asparagus. Let me show you a little trick with asparagus, because you know, it's got like the part to eat and the woody part. So what I do is I just snap it, right? And that kind of gives me a good indication of where I need to cut these. So with that in, in mind, I'm just gonna cut like that. Move those off to the side. And that's our stuff right there. So I'm gonna put it into this plate here. And I'm gonna add some EVOO to it. And you know my girlfriend, Rachel Ray, she's into that EVOO. Just dab it on there a little bit. Now I do have to say as well, I was not at her house when it caught on fire, so she couldn't blame me for the fire. I was actually on my way back to Boise when it occurred. Just kidding, Rachel. But you know, I do love you. So because we're doing the chicken with Gator Shake, we're gonna add some Gator Shake to our asparagus. Just kinda hit it like that, nothing crazy. Mix it up, right? So at this point, we're just gonna let these things rest for a moment while we wait for the chicken to get up to temp, and then we'll put the asparagus onto the Weber. Well, it's been another 20 minutes. It is time to check our chicken. These things look awesome, guys. And I did happen to just check them just a moment ago. I do wanna check Meaty Mike out here. I don't know if you can see that. We're a little bit over the mark, but that is Perfect. So I'm going to put these off to the side. So I do have some of this Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce that I want to try. I'm just going to coat these things. Now that they're definitely off the direct heat, they are going to continue to stay warm, but it's going to be a heck of a slower process because now we have some asparagus we need to cook up. All right, time for the asparagus. Now the asparagus, I'm gonna put over the direct heat. And it's not gonna take very long, and the reason why because our chicken's done, and I don't want the asparagus to take forever to cook. Well, it's been five minutes. Time to check these out. Dang, that's looking good. These asparagus, they're looking killer, man. I've got a kind of a dark one there. That's all right. It's all about the flavor. So we're gonna plate these up. We're gonna take a piece of chicken. Look at that, doesn't that look awesome? Holy moly, let's try it out. It's time to try this out. And I know because of the barbecue sauce, it's gonna be sloppy, so I got paper towels. Sloppy means better though sometimes, guys. I wanna try the asparagus first though. Mm. Perfect texture, guys. And you really get just a hint of the gator shake on there. It's more like a, a salty flavor to it. Mm, so good. But it's time for the chicken. Mm. Wow. You know what I love about chicken legs is this dark meat. The dark meat doesn't dry out like a breast. The white meat. Man. Mm. Man, that's got flavor written all over it. All right, guys, there you go. 
chicken legs done on the Weber kettle with some asparagus. The recipe's down below. Please remember, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, comment, share. You got it, guys. This is the bomb. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Very much appreciated. Remember, the dude abides this time with chicken legs done on the kettle.